Hello and welcome. You're watching Business Today Television. I'm Tanya Aneja, and this is a brand new episode of Technical Gup Shop, where we'll discuss the technical market outlook, key levels to watch out for, and five technical stock ideas to bet on. To discuss this, let's welcome our guest on the show today. We have with us uh, Mehul Kothari, who is Assistant Vice President Technical Research at Anand Rati Shares and Stock Brokers. Thank you so much, Mehul, for taking the time out and joining us here on Business Today Television. Very good morning, Tanya. Thanks for having me on the show. So, Mehul, the U.S. Central Bank hiked rates by 50 basis points, as was widely expected. But according to experts, it certainly uh, does seem like they are still worried about inflation and this is not going to be the end of rate increases. So, the three main U.S. indices ended sharply lower on Thursday and fell to their lowest levels in more than a month. Also, Indian equity benchmarks also opened uh, lower on the last trading day of this week amid largely negative cues from global markets. So, what are the key levels that one should watch out for and is there more pain ahead? Uh, see, let's first discuss about the US markets. What has happened over, over there is uh, all the cures started after the inflation started rising, right? right. And if, if we look at the recent CPI number in US, then uh, it has... Uh, convincingly came down and this has been happening since last couple of months or so so what we feel that uh, from where the things have started now uh, it's coming to an end so markets have already discounted this positive news and again we could expect profit booking in the markets now first uh, with regards to the us uh, indices and all dow jones and nasdaq and snp find it the high which they made a couple of days back when the inflation numbers were out that high remains a very strong resistance for them unless and until that is not taken out we cannot expect a, a fresh bull rally in the markets at least in their markets and if that is not taken out then we expect further profit booking in us markets so that could be followed by our markets also so now we'll come to our markets Previously, during the previous week, uh, we discussed something about FIS long to short ratio in our markets, that is in specifically in index futures. So what we mentioned, what we were of the opinion that whenever this ratio goes above 75% or near to 75%, a top is being made in the market. So last time this happened, at, it was in January 2022. Then it happened in April 2022 and this time also it was 75% or more. So from then uh, we have been quite cautious in the markets and we, we mentioned that for the coming two to three months we expect profit booking in the markets and there is a possibility again a top would be made in the market but it's difficult to judge that when that top will be made on the higher side whether it is from 18,800 or 19,000 or maybe beyond that and then the top will made so we were not uh, convinced about that level but yes we were of that idea that the top is about to be made in the market now nifty has on a shorter time frame confirmed that the recent high of around 18,800 could be a temporary top because if we close today below 18,300 then that top might get confirmed because of lower top lower bottom formation on the daily chart of nifty spot so today's closing uh, would be a crucial one uh, as per my analysis okay absolutely that's the word coming in and also mehul the nifty it index is also under pressure and according to some reports, tech stocks are ending 2022 with their worst phase since the 2008 global financial crisis. And the index is down over 25% on a year-to-date basis. There's, there was a report as well. Credit Suisse uh, warned of a 10 to 27% valuation-led correction in these stocks amid U.S. macro headwinds. So what are your thoughts on this pace? Uh, see, a uh, few few trading sessions back, uh, when this index was uh, trading, IT index was trading somewhere near to 28,600 or so, we expected that there is a possibility of bottoming out and uh, we saw that recovery of at least two to three trading sessions. But in the last couple of sessions, what has happened is again, the IT index is in pressure. So uh, as of now, we'll go by the levels. Currently, it is quoting somewhere near to 30,000, that is 28,900 to be precise. On the downside, we feel 28,500 uh, 28, is a very strong support. It's a multiple support. Currently, we are witnessing double bottom formation over there. 
so if that is broken then again it will be the scapegoat uh, scapegoat and there there will be a too much of pressure in the it index but if this support is held then we expect some kind of sharp recovery in it stocks because at the same time we are we are expecting profit booking in banking index or the uh, frontline index indices so that is why defensives will come into play so it and pharma could be the sector where the selling would be the least from here on okay absolutely so 28500 uh, is a strong support that is coming in for this particular index and any other sectors that you're bullish on especially at this point in time uh, sitanya we are very much bullish on one sector and that could be the sector for the year 2023 apart from uh, pharma pharma okay. we are liking very much but one sector uh, that is a clear cut uh, outperformer that could be a clear cut outperformer that is nifty psc index it is somewhere trading somewhere near to 4500 odd levels okay. it is on the verge of 15 years breakout the consolidation uh, near 4700 it, it took 15 years for this index to again reach to that breakout level and once that is uh, that is confirmed if this index starts trading above 4700 which we feel that it will happen in a couple of months or so then uh, there is a possibility of 20 to 30 percent rally in that index during the year of 2023 which we are not expected in uh, expecting in the bro uh, benchmark indices 20 30 percent uh, rally we are not expecting that kind of rally but yes 30 percent rally uh, we could see in nifty psc index so yes we are very much bullish on that index that is public center uh, public sector enterprises okay nifty psc index uh, that is uh the advice that is coming in and also let's now come to five top uh, technical stock ideas that uh, our investors can bet on uh, so which are the five uh, stocks that you are betting on uh, today uh see tanya as we told that markets we expect some kind of profit booking in the markets and uh, markets will remain choppy from here on and volatility will rise from here on because india vix has bottom out this is what we feel as of now and uh, it could go towards 25 to 30 levels currently it is somewhere near to 13 or 14 so we don't want uh, traders to uh, get stuck in short term uh, stocks or st uh, short term ideas so we are coming up with a broader picture 3 to 6 months for that uh, we have selected five stocks and that five stocks those five stocks are from the psc index itself and we have named that basket as bingo bingo for a reason there are five stocks first is bpcl i for ioc n for ntpc g for gale and o for ongc so quickly i'll give you the trade setups for 3 to 6 months bpcl one can buy this stock or accumulate this stock in the range of 350 to 340 stop loss will be 290 upside target 450 ioc accumulation zone is 78 to 74 stop loss is 63 target is 104 ntpc buying range or accumulation range is 170 to 162 stop loss 140 target 225 gain 95 to 90 is the range currently it is quoting somewhere near to 98 because it has run up a bit in the last couple of sessions so one can wait to buy it on dips stop loss will be 78 target will be 122 and last but not least that is ongc one can buy the stock in the range of 148 to 140 stop loss will be 110 and upside target 210 Okay, absolutely. So the theme today is uh, bingo and uh, all the PSE stocks, and we have BPCL, we have IOC, NTPC, Gas Authority of India, and ONGC. So these are the picks that are coming in from Mehul. And on that note, thank you so much, Mehul, for sharing all these uh, stock ideas with us and being with us here on Business Today Television. Thank you, Tanya.